What's cracking, YouTube? Welcome back to Myers Two Stroke RC Garage. And today, guys, we've got something a little bit different going on. Um, it's it's really hot out today, and it's it's the reason we're out here is because it's too damn hot to be in the garage. So that's why I got the car out here, and we're going to put that uh, my servo and my uh, servo saver came yesterday. It came two days early, so we're going to go ahead and throw that baby in and all that stuff. So. That's what we're gonna do today. Uh, some, one of my, well, I don't know if he's a subscriber, subscriber or not, but uh, one of the guys that uh, commented on my order video, he asked for an install video, and so I'm coming through with that. So uh, why don't I get set up, and I'll be right back, and I'll get you uh, guys closer down here to the machine, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, I got you guys uh, close to the machine, and uh, anyways, what I've done so far is I've removed the throttle servo horn, and the steering servo horn and uh, I've loosened these these two or these four bolts and uh, we're gonna go from there so and I'm probably gonna reuse these stainless steel what we're doing right now is we're taking the battery box off but I'm right I'm gonna be using these reusing these to um, hold my other battery box in So we're just pull this out like that. Once you get the servo horns off, that's how easy that it comes out. Take the other part loose so we can get it pulled back far enough to where we can get to the Fonzie links. So switching gears here. All right, now we should be able to slide the servo saver back and get to these Fonzie links through this center part. Yep, we can. them out and then here's my servo saver and that's kind of or it's not kind of what happened it is what happened it just that plastic little plastic deal popped out and I'm sure it's it's uh, salvageable and everything but uh, I've, I've been around these and they uh, this one's already got a super amount of slop in it and there's really nothing you can do you can't tighten either one of these things so um, that's why I'm going to the different style, and uh, I noticed it had been rubbing on the top part of this, uh, top or the bottom part of this top plate uh, when I was steering, you know, my Fonzie links, and then there's parts of it where, that were hitting on that plate, so uh, I don't know if it's going to actually take care of that, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, switch out to the to their normal stuff, so we'll set that here. Okay, so... We can put a little on here, just a little dab. Okay, now we got that part assembled. Okay, so we got the spring spreader here. And what we're gonna use it for, we're gonna spread this spring over this. gonna be at all fell right on there after the fact And then we 
got the washer and we got the snap ring. Okay, got my my snap ring pliers. Now, we got the servo saver uh, put together. So we put the bolts in through the back side, we put the spring on, uh, and we put the snap ring on, the washer. The next thing up, I did save these parts and I'm hoping these parts will work. But the next thing up is these little locators. All right, so that is roughly how it's gonna be set up in there. Okay, so what we are going to have to do is we're gonna to have to pull this top plate so we can get everything in there. I had to pause the video because my neighbor stopped by. Uh, but I got these four bolts out here and we're gonna have to take these two back out here, but we're gonna have to remove the truck mount, the truck body mount or whatever you wanna call it to make that happen, so. And then on this thing, what I do so that doesn't stick through so far is I have square cut O-rings. Uh, put on you know the back side so it fits through my front shock, shock tower the correct length okay so now okay so now we got that going and we should be able to just slide this out the way like so Set this over here and then we can uh, set up our servo saver and locator pins. I'm trying to figure out whether I want to go ahead and connect my Fonzie links right now or why I, it's open or if I want to screw around with it when it's not open because then yeah, I think I'm going to want to install my Fonzie links while we're here. That doesn't even look right at all. I'm going to have to readjust toe, guys. <laughs> oh, well. Part of it, I suppose. And then one one of my subscribers uh, was saying that I'm going to have to have different uh, Fonzie ends, but uh, I don't know what he what he was talking about because they, they clear perfectly fine. I just... The reason the, the wheels are all screwed up is because I got to readjust the toe. Um, but it looks like everything's going to clear the way it's supposed to. And it's everything's way away from the upper control arm. And, you know, the I mean, this this was I know it was hitting on the 40 pipe all the time, but uh, I don't I, I can't say that it's hit on this pipe. In fact, I'll check it real quick. Yeah, it's been hitting on that pipe on this pipe, too. So. <laughs> that ought to keep it further away. Keep that crap from happening. All right, folks. I'm back with another tool and some nuts for the end of my Fonzie link.
probably be the next piece. I did not notice that till just now. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's, it's bent right there. I suppose I could go to the vise and bend it back. So you can see, maybe that's one of the reasons why that was rubbing there, I don't know. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I got this bent back about the best I can get it. I just pinched my thumb between the exhaust bracket and the tool. Oh man. Oh well. <laughs>